We've got Sebastian Wolf on the line from Belgium, and he's going to go over these new feature points. Go over it. What are they? So you're starting from your address position. Correct. Address. If you, if you now move to um, arms parallel to the ground, we added this A point. A, A arm parallel. Okay. Parallel ground way back. Yeah. And on your way back, you can go to B and the arm going down. It's not exactly where it could be, but um, then you, you can go to impact, and then you have halfway or follow through, and then you have finish. Wow. Now we have this. We have this new feature about here the pencil, because some people wanted to adjust. The, the moments right so, for example I, I will go to um, and this can only be done with with uh, one two three four right if you want to adjust for example uh, top of the swing you just click on it and then you can you can move it oh that's really slick that's uh, that's in fact that's the the real top position yes that's the one I I save it and it so, and data will, will adjust accordingly to that frame. Okay, and then what about the 3D features, the uh, yeah. rotations and so forth? Will, will those rotational features show up in those new, in those new set? So, if you move one of the key moments, one, two, three, and four, if yeah. you go back to this, to this view or to the data table, the, the, the numbers will adjust to the, the new frame. Wow. So now you can uh, you can you can set the proper positions to where you want them on the. Yeah. Let me show you. Here we have, for example, 58 uh, shoulders. Yeah. Huh? Uh, if I go here and I move that that point, let's say you train before, and I save it. If I go back here to number two, we have 63 now. I got it. So you can adjust it to where you think it's appropriate on the video. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that was, most, that was mostly the case for uh, the impact position, where people were, would argue that this is not the impact position. Right. Maybe. So what I would do is I would take number three, Move it a few frames. Yes. Where I think that's the impact. Yes, sir. I save it. And then I go back to this view. I go to impact and I have another number here. Wow, okay. And then you can put all four screens on if you want to show all the stuff. Yep. But you have to reload the, the, the rotation view in that moment. Okay, very interesting. Well, this is kind of unique. We're doing a little uh, testing, but Sebastian's giving us a little description. I'm going to put that on YouTube, okay?